As usual with the Carabao Cup, we'll be an open press conference, so feel free to raise your hand, anyone wants to ask a question. Okay. Vinny? Yeah. Uh, obviously, we've got to ask you about the news that broke yesterday mm -hmm. regarding the future of the club, the future ownership of the club. I just wonder what kind of impact or any kind of distraction does that cause for the management team, for the players, and, and what are you being told by the ownership group, if any? Yeah, first of all, everybody who saw us the last years, everybody who realize who we are as a club, know that we have a strong relationship with the owners. So, um, we knew before, of course, we knew about the statement, nothing more than you guys knew. Um, uh, what I would like to say is that uh, I always know the owners act in the best interest of the club and they always did. Um, I believe they always tried at least and um, uh, this relationship was very important for us. So, as will be, so um, I think the statement was very clear. Uh, how did it distract us? To be honest, um, this is what I like about our club. We are so focused. Um, there was a, a small discussion, or not a small discussion, but a, a little talk between Jürgen and me, but on that moment we start focusing and uh, um, a big game going up. And uh, I have to say, I love this competition because of uh, this club, this competition means so much for us, not just that uh, last year we won it, but especially as well that if there's one competition represent the whole club, not just the first team squad, but also the talents is this one. So I can't wait. I'm going to have to go back to it though. Yeah, all good. <laughs> I'd imagine the thing is, is that for you, is, is there any kind of ambiguity, any kind of uncertainty as to who will be the owners of this football club moving forward? Because if there is, I would imagine that impacts on discussions around players' contracts, it impacts on what you can do in the transfer market, because we've got a transfer Ah, but, but you are just speculating, no? Um, so I think this statement was clear. It's nothing new for a club to find new investors. There's nothing new that a club tries to uh, find investors uh, to create. What I said, they are acting in the best interest of the club. They try to take the club forward. Uh, I believe they always did. For me, they are good owners, and I will ex explain a few uh, reasons why. First one, they tied down one of the best managers in the world for seven plus years. So I think that says a lot. Um, second, they tied down the best players in the squad. The difference between European top or World top or sub top is that you have to sell your best players. We tie down, tie down. They tie down most of our contract. So, and then what's even more important in my opinion is that we have a stable academy. We have they invested in the academy. They invested in uh, where we are sitting now. It's one of the best training grounds in world football, in my opinion, and it's our new home. And it was not easy to replace Melwood, for example. But we are sitting here. And we are feeling at home, and so they invest in this. Then, of course, the main stand. The, the new stand. So they made a lot, a lot of good decisions. And um, um, if they were not good owners, <laughs> we would not be sitting here. Because in the end, we won a lot of cups, a lot of international and national prizes. So, um, yeah, I, that's why I say I believe that they are acting in the right, the, the best interest for this club to take it further. I feel that they're here for the long term still. Yeah, yeah no, I feel that. Uh, this is again speculation, no? Because they are searching for investors. That's the statement. I think the statement was really clear, to be honest. Obviously, the news broke on the day that you've been playing with Real Madrid again in the yeah. Champions League as well. So, after meeting last season's final, how do you all feel about facing them again in the round of 16 this time? Yeah, uh, I don't believe um, a lot uh, because people say to I me, mean, you read like revenge or these things, but I don't believe in life is, should be like that. It's a new season, it's a new. Uh, new teams as well, new moments, and uh, it's just the international classical. It's uh, two of uh, the biggest club with so much history in this competition, competing already early in the knockout stages. I'm, I'm proud that we, have a, we had a consistent run, in the, despite our first game against Napoli, but that we are again in the knockout uh, stages and uh, with 15 points, and uh, we can't wait to compete with them, of course. It's, uh, we always say, the Anfield nights, the European nights are special. Um, the fans expect us uh, to be in this kind of uh, circumstance, in these kinds of games, and let's hope that we can create new memories and that we uh, 
that we proper can compete. Um, I know we will be ready, but uh, it will be a, a massive game, yeah. As you said, you love this competition, the EFL. Yeah. Um, not surprising after last season, obviously, as well. Yeah. Um, when you look at what you've got to pick from this time around, though, going mm. to this game against Derby, how are you looking squad-wise? Obviously, we know about James Milner. Uh, is, will he be fit to return? Any chance for Cater, Matip to get some minutes? How important for the rotation will we see the likes of Kelleher, Phillips, Ramsey, Carvalho start? Yeah, uh, what's, what's good is that... Um, as we proved last year, is that this competition gives moments for talent. That's for sure. This moment, this competition gives moments for our scouting department as well. So the academy and the scouting department, players who not. If one thing has proven last year is that we will need the full squad again to compete. If you want to go for the cups, so um, we're going to use that as always. Only reason is because we want to play with full power. We want to go to the second gear basically, and uh, or even third gear. And we feel that's possible with the team we selected and created. Um, um, but again, going back to Derby, I know that they are being in a, a not an easy period, not an easy uh, moment. But um, Paul, one thing is for sure: if you look back to Rotherham, for example, the players run through brick walls for him, and um, he's a coach who plays, loves to play with a line of five. But um, he has a few. Injuries in the in the in the back lines. So or probably I'm not sure. He, he played with the back four now last time. So what we can expect is uh, a mixture of talent with uh, with Sibley, with Owen, with uh, and Collins as a target man. And uh, so yeah, we expect this uh, kind of game tomorrow. So we need to be uh, ready. That's for sure. But going back to last year, Leicester, for example, when we were three one down, if you heard the stadium at this moment, how they supported the young boys. And the kids, or the kids, how Jürgen says, but the talents, the ones who will win cups later on for us. What I'm trying to say is that uh, we need this environment again, that we can chase, that we can hunt in packs, that we can get the ball back. Yeah. Um, so listening to you then, everything's okay, business as usual, line yeah. of communication open with the owners. Um, the competition itself has always, well, it, it's produced some some really magical mm -hmm. entertaining nights yeah. at Anfield. I'm thinking Arsenal, you mentioned Leicester as well. So what kind of um, atmosphere do you think it will create tomorrow night? Yeah, I think, first of all, if ever if I may, then I want to give a big compliment to the fans and to our owners because it's arrogant to think that football always goes in your direction. It's arrogant to think that it always goes up, up and up. There will be difficult spells. There will be difficult phases in, uh, in the season for each club and uh, how the fans stood behind us, the ones who stood behind us and the, uh, how, they, um, how they support, how they shout, uh, we will pay them back, that's for sure. They love a penalty shootout as well. So, eh? They love a penalty yeah. as well. We were good last year, no? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, and a compliment to the owners as well. The stabi this, st this stability is really important. That's why Jürgen is here for seven plus years. That's why we signed a new deal. Uh, we knew, and we are not arrogant to think that we always will be top, but uh, we know that uh, our players never stopped, uh, have this commitment, never, never stop developing, never stop fighting to find their form, to find uh, our form. Yeah. And I know that you said, um, well, Jürgen said after the, the win at Tottenham on Sunday, it, to have that feeling back. I know people talk about the Premier League away win and everything else. Yeah. I expect it to be a different, a different side yeah. to played at Tottenham. But when you talk about this competition being for every player involved, to have that feeling back, to give them back to that, those players as well. Yeah, we know, we know that a player with confidence or a player without confidence is not the same player. So the support from outside... So Shankly said, no, you support us, um, you have to support us in these times, otherwise don't support us when we are in the parade or when we are, <laughs> when we are winning, support us now. And that's why I say that they do. And if you see the away game against Tottenham, how they celebrated this win and the second half, how they were still uh, shouting us to get us out of our own half. Um, yeah. I, that's probably what I like the most about football is that this relationship between fans and manager or team and can create something really good and it's uh, it's not easy when it doesn't go your way but uh, with a little bit of help here and there you can come back. Carl. Hey. Um, after results 
this season has been a bit up and down. I'm just wondering, were you aware of, of the criticism that you received for your book saying you've mm. given away some of, some of the secrets? <laughs> people were reading too much into that. But did you, were you aware of that and what did you put your response? Uh, nah, at the moment, uh, first of all, uh, no regrets. Huh? I enjoyed every word and every. Uh, everything what was written down the moment it was published for me it was done it was the past it did that any interest to be honest because a new season new problems blah blah um, I, I hope that uh, that people enjoy it I know that a lot of people do because uh, from the inside and the outside I get good reactions uh, but you guys know really good that if you write something there will be people who like it and there will be people who don't like it so uh, that should never stop you to do these things in my opinion I'm proud that there's a book that gives inside information and not as much as people say what will harm. So there's no relationship with that. Um, but I, um, I hope that fans, um, that they could read the admiration I have for this club, the feeling for the team, the love for Liverpool. And uh, if, I, if it inspires a few, I'm already happy. So, But the reaction have been good. And if you don't know what to give for Christmas present, <laughs> please buy it for your bitter uncle. Yeah? I'll, I'll get on the then. Yeah, please. Um, uh, we've, we sat here week after week and listened to Jurgen trying to explain what the, what the issues were this season. Would you ask from your technical point of view, can you give us an idea of, of how, how you see what's, what's in the problems? Yeah. We had really highs and really lows. There's, the reason, there's a reason why we were not as consistent, of course. But if there was one reason or one simple explanation, that's, uh, that's too easy, of course. Or, um, we start the season insane with the Community Shield, in my opinion, what represent our pre-season, what was uh, up to speed, where all the boys were really fighting and uh, we had a good start in that way. Um, but if you look to a general point of view, is that when you get early 1-0 down, uh, when they have a sl uh, not a slow start, but uh, probably a start where the opposition punishes you straight away, um, then your offensive game has to be really good. You cannot create doubt when the ball moves from left to right, when you bring the ball high up the pitch. And uh, we know from the past that teams try to exploit our high line, that teams try to exploit us in counter attacks where you leave space. Um, so uh, with these moments, one nil down, chasing the game. Um, we all know that the team is uh, the team is different. If you then don't have a lot of points, it becomes even more difficult because p players get nervous and make probably a few bad decisions. Or uh, we are not as protected as well because everybody wants to contribute. And um, it's good that uh, that we could correct a few things. It's good that we had to uh, that we could um, could go back to basics and put like proper solutions in. Um, but um, I'm happy where we are now. To be honest, uh, it feels like. Uh, with the Champions League campaign and with Tottenham and uh, the way we are playing, it feels that we are every time a little bit closer to who we really are. Um, what I said, uh, we will pay the fans back because they don't stop believing, don't stop shouting, even when we uh, lost the game. So, yeah. Paul Yeah. You said earlier about um, the owners tied down, mm -hmm. the best man. When yourself and Jurgen signed the contract, was it in April? Was it on, on the on the staff, on the belief that you'd be working with these owners for the foreseeable future? Yeah, of course. You sign a deal with Liverpool Football Club and their owners, but we are not naive to think that things change in football. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's how the football world, uh, football world works. But uh, um, as I said, our our relationship with them is is very very good. Uh, I respect them so much. You have no idea. I, I hope you guys, with my answers, uh, that I could transparent that. So, um, it's um, yeah, that's my answer, to be honest. Yeah. And, and you said um, about the, the statement that clubs look for new investors all the time. So, is it your understanding that it's new investors rather than the sale of the club? No, I, the, I, everything what I know is what you guys know. I should ask you guys the question probably because it's it's in the statement it says very clear that they are searching for investors. That's what we knew. That was what we knew probably one and a half week ago or something. We thought it would not come out now. It come out now, so that's all fine. Um, what I said, what I like about this club and about our structure, that we used to, um, how can I say, 
uh, rumors around or uh, unfair or what, what, whatever. We focus on what matters and what matters is preparing for Derby because we want to go and compete in this cup, in this competition. We want to do the same as last year, go far and try to try to reach with uh, to reach Wembley. So our focus goes to this and we know that um, 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 that with putting the players the players tomorrow together on the pitch with experience, with talent, we again creating a new generation of, 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 of players and that's what is in our mind. The rest, we don't have control anyway, so why would we? Just yeah, yeah, go on. Um, which, which youngsters could we see in the squad tomorrow? Ben, Doak? Yeah, I don't, I can't give to, if you, if you, if you know us and uh, you, you know us very well, the, uh, We have, we have so much different talent, so much uh, different kind of players who are young. And probably it excites me much more than you, but it excites me to see a new generation. If I see Cueff celebrating in Wembley, taking the last penalty, seeing the cup competition he did when he was 15 when we signed him, he was my goalie at that time, and I see and we meet after the game and... These moments for me mean 10 times more than even winning the cup competition. To, to see a young boy become a man and a man with personality and a man who can compete and takes the bravery to take, for example, the last, he needed to take the last penalty, but shoots it. He was a, in the past, he was a striker. That's why he shoot the top corner. But, and to create memories with a young team, with a young squad and using the academy like this. I think Liverpool Football Club, if you work for this club, you have to, you have to trust young players because the generations before made this club. So we have to create again this kind of environment where young talent can step up and be decisive. So of course we're going to see them because it would be idiotic not to do because um, the talent is huge and otherwise all the time, all the energy, all the money we invest, also our owners and staff and first team staff and academy staff and it doesn't make sense to have 200 young boys there running around and then not use it. They, they never let us down, and they will never let us down, and they will also pay back, no? That's their character. And we're going to see Scousers, hopefully. <laughs> and we're going to see Scousers, hopefully. Huh? That would be even... Can you imagine a Scouser scoring in front of the cop again? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing. Dominic? Okay. Um, yeah. on, on that theme, one of the... Um, Sometimes the criticism of the owners is that they they don't spend enough on the <coughs> players and it gets talked about net spends and, and where Liverpool are. Mm. Where you talk about um, bringing players through, that's that's the thrill of it, isn't it? It's not it's not about yeah. spend, spend, spend. One one influences the other as well. So if you buy a lot, a lot, a lot, young players don't get a chance. But there's also the type of player you want to buy. I think we invested well. I think um, um, uh, if you look to our last years, uh, bringing Luis Diaz in the winter was a massive signing and needed. I said it was like water in the desert, this kind of, to give this last push towards the Cups and towards the... So uh, Darwin will be a good signing. For me, is already a good sign, but will be a good sign. So young, so hungry, can create five chances by himself in the game. Uh, a proper striker, addition to what we didn't have, the type. Um, then you have Calvin, you have Fabio, young players who come in as, as signings. Then before that, uh, Ibu Konate, Jota. So these are all signings who, are, who were like in the rows, how do you say? Throw it in the, in the bullet. <laughs> the bullseye. 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 What, what I'm trying to say, we cannot afford to buy and not be right we can only afford to buy to be right. And it has to add something to our team, something special, something new. Jota added something new, something special. Luis Diaz added something new, something special. Ibu Konate added something new, something special. So we have to be right. And that's why we search for. And then you cannot be like left, right, left, right. No, you, you want to be right. And with time, what was most important, and that's what I tried to explain already, was to tie down our best players because our team is and was a machine. So if you don't tie them down, they will leave. So, with, um, so what I'm trying to say is that it's always a balance. You need to be right with your signings 
and I believe we were right. Do we do uh, people want to see one or two or three or four more players? Yes, of course. Everybody wants to see <laughs> the outside world, but you you can. Uh, um, I prefer, well, we prefer to have the, the right one and to really work with and give time as well for young ones to really work with and like this add and add and add and renew and renew renew the team and to make it younger and younger and younger and to add academy, academy and to uh, give talent a chance and to buy the top one who, uh, who influences immediately the first 11 like Luis, like Short, like Ibu, like however, Costas. I think we invested. Uh, what people see is that... Uh, what people want to see is that transfers is uh, the one thing. But a, building a club and building a long-term successful relationship has much more to do than just the transfers. Otherwise, we were not sitting here. So, tie down Jurgen Klopp. That's maybe even more important So, for seven plus years. Yeah. I know you, I'm not going to ask you to give away the team, but yeah. one of the young players who's been around the first team is by yeah. How impressed have you been? I think he's in your book that you say the first yeah. time we saw him, you were impressed. Yeah. But also, given the, the debate around the field and some of the contract situation, yeah. how important can he be for yeah. that long term? Exactly. Yeah. So, Stefan is somebody who really, it's, it's a joy to watch uh, because uh, he has all the characteristics what we search for as a as a as a midfield player. He played in the past as a centre half, so he's really good in the challenges. Uh, what we need. How I said, one of our biggest problems this season is stopping counter-attacks so we can stay in the opposition half. So, um, he is a type of player who has this attribute. So, it's a good, it's a really nice to see. Um, the sp uh, he's young, hungry, shows every day in training that he's, uh, he's really ready. Um, it's up to us to lead well with him, give him the right moments to give again, and these things. Uh, process takes time, but uh, yeah, I cannot say if he starts or not. But uh, hopefully, we will see him tomorrow. Midfield, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, honestly, um, um, sometimes the academy gives you presents, and he's one of them. Hold on. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you, guys.